Hello everyone. This is my 40 gallon breeder tank that I built out of a Petco 40 gallon breeder. And this is the stand that it's sitting on. That I've made out of a three quarter plywood. Just to get a close-up of the aquarium itself and the inhabitants. A little bit of both, a little bit of a soft corals, gawneys, gawneys, hammers, quite a bit of SPS going on. I really like SPS corals. I really do love them. I want my whole tank to be full of SPS. It's doing pretty good so far. It's only been set up for like four months. Not very long. There's a giant bubble tip. Chicago Sunburst and Enemy back there, a little space invader hiding behind. Some grafted, grafted uh, Mani cap over there in the back. Some DG. Assortment of corals that I have. I have some nuisance bubble tip algae that, like you guys could see and some Aptasia, which it's so hard to get rid of. I tried everything. I'm trying to get some nudibranch right now, but they're hard to come by locally. And you can see that I've drilled the aquarium with an overf overflow behind it, which is a 600 gallon overflow. It seems to do the job, nothing too much, but it works just fine. Back there in the corner, I have the dosing lines for my dosers. Um, they just drop in into the aquarium versus the sump because I just want them to mix with the water right away instead of going through the sump. Here on the side of the aquarium, I'll start out with the Cheomorpha reactor by two little fishes that I made into a reactor. Obviously, they didn't come out like this. But basically, I just put some Cheomorpha ball and wrapped around a grow light. And it seems to be growing a ton of Cheomorpha in there. And on the other side of that is my Kalkwasser mixer by Julian Sprung again. In the middle of this is my own apparatus that I made for the RO water. If I want to bypass the calc washer and I just want straight RO water, I just turn this valve and it'll give me straight RO water instead of going through the calc washer solution and whatever, for whatever reason I have. Down here at the bottom, the overflow is in the middle and then going with the tubes down into the sump. And the lines from the doser goes in the sump as well. Down at the bottom is my auto top off container, 15 gallons. It was made for RVs, but I just cut a little hole in it and dropped off a Tunzi pump. I'm, that's the backflow, so it doesn't backflow into the aquarium. Um, and that's where I get my fresh water from. The stand I made from three quarter plywood, wrapped it with some tiles from Amazon with the adhesive backing and setting it on casters so I could easily move it if I need to. They're self-adjusting casters. So let's go into the sump. And then here on the right, we have, starting from the left side, this is the all for reef mix in a two and a half gallon container. That should last me a long time. 
these baskets are pull baskets but they drop into the seven inch uh, hole right there and I could use different medias or different carbons in it and um, if I don't want to run a sock I could just use these and with a little bit of filter floss in it and it does an incredible job these are the containers that I use for the trace colors by Red Sea I use the Voss containers and then I um, put the um, the sticker off the bottles onto these bottles so I know which ones are which and then I'm running a bubble magus curve five these guys are amazing I love these bubble magus protein skimmers and then my return pump back there with a emergency overflow a good size UV sterilizer plus a mini sterilizer back there because I don't want any um, algae in my tank. Um, this, the right side of the door holds my Yolink, which me and another friend of mine, we kind of rigged to tell me how much water I have down in the sump. If this Tunzi doesn't turn on or for some reason it turns off, which it happened before and I've had a spike in salinity that killed a lot of my fish and a lot of my corals. And I didn't know about it until I got back to work next Tuesday. And by that time it was too late. So um, I, me and a friend of mine made this up, hooked up to a uh, float valve. And now I have um, real life um, notifications on my phone if the sump is too low. Down there with the Yolink water, um, with the water uh, thing, if it, the water leaks on the floor, it'll tell me. I also have them underneath the aquarium. Let's see, right there. Really cool. This is my Wi Fi Yolink temperature um, uh, monitor. So it just gives me what the temperature is like in the aquarium on my phone. And then underneath, I have my dosing pumps that I dose all my Red Sea colors plus all for reef solution into my aquarium and all the power strips. Pretty cool. I made this aquarium, it suits my needs. In the future, I want to get a bigger tank, so stay tuned for that. But overall, I love the way this aquarium turned out. And I love the way it's, um, it's just so strong and I, and I love everything about it. Now let's go to the lights. And I'll give you a little light preview. These are three Hydra 32s. No, yeah, AI Hydra 32s uh, supplemented by a small 880 Kessel for true UV light to the aquarium. Some might say that it's an overkill on a 40 gallon breeder, but I like them. I like them on there. And then to supplement to cool down the aquarium, I'm using two strong computer fans from Amazon. They're set up on a sensor to turn on whenever I need them. And I have them in a the corner blowing down straight to the water. One in that corner, one on the left side of the corner, and they seem to be cooling off the aquarium. The bracket itself, this is, I think it's a um, bracket from uh, BRS that was discontinued with a AI bar that I drilled, uh, that I drilled and put into place, and seems to work really fine. No issues so far and it actually looks pretty good. For weight movements, I have a Red Sea 25, which is a lot of power, a lot of water flow. On the other side, I have a mower pump, which I'm gonna get rid of pretty soon. And in the back there, I got the, um, the return lines to the, from the sump, and then one Tunzi power head. So, I think I have a lot of movement in the tank, but um, I like a lot of movement. I love a lot of movement. 
and uh, aquarium. And probably still not enough, if you ask me. Anyways, if you guys have any comments, drop down into the aquarium. Uh, drop down in the comments below. What do you think? What you love about it? Anything you want me to change? Anything that you guys want to see differently? Um, again, it came out really, really good, and I'm really, really happy with it. Like you guys can see that I don't have a lot of fish. I don't like a lot of bio waste in the aquarium. My phosphates are zero, which I don't like, maybe because I don't have enough fish. My calcium is 450. My KH or my alkalinity is 8.2. Magnesium somewhere around the 14 and so on. So I basically just look at the aquarium every day, make sure that everything is on par. Everything seems to be working. Anyway, that's enough for this video. I'll catch you guys on the next one. God bless you guys. Drop any comments if you have. Subscribe. Hit that like. I'll see you guys later. Thank you.